Bernard of Clairvaux, Epistolae, Episode 1. Bernard, who lived from 1090 to 1153, was known as the Doctor Mellifluous, that is, the teacher of the church, who was honey eloquent, mellifluous, honey flowing. This is the frontispiece of the text I'm using for this series. Dewi Bernardi, religiosissimi ecclesiae doctoris, ac primi clara valensis canoibii abatis, opera quidem colligi unda quaque in huncusque diem potuere omnia. Of the divine Bernard, the most holy or devout religiosissimi, teacher, doctor of the church, ecclesiae doctoris, and he was the first abbot of the monastery canoibium at Clairvaux, his works, opera, which, in fact, could be collected, potuere colligi, colligi is a present passive infinitive, potuere is the third plural perfect of possum, potuere runt, which could be collected from every which place, undaquaque, up to the present day, in huncusque diem, all of them, omnia. And this was published at Basel, you can see there it says, Basile I, and the year is 1556. In Cipi unt epistolae diwi Bernardi abatis, epistola prima ad Robertum nepotem suum, quide ordine cisterciensi transierat ad cluniacum. Satis et plusquam satis sustinui dilectissime fili Roberta, si forte dei pietas et tuam per se, et meam per te animam dignaretur in visere. Incipiunt. Here begin the letters, epistolae, of Bernard, the head of the monastery, the abbot, the divine Bernard. These three are masculine, singular, and genitive, possessive genitives with this nominative, epistolae, which is the subject of incipiunt. The first letter, epistola prima, written to Robert, his own epotem, his own nephew to his ne own nephew Robert, who, de ordine cisterciensi, from the Cistercian order, had transferred, transierat, had crossed over, to Cluny, had come to Cluny. Cluniacum is an adjective, just like cisterciensi is, and this means to the order of Cluny, the Cluniac order. He says, long enough, satis, and more than enough, satis et plusquam satis, Sustinui. This is a first singular, perfect indicative active. I have endured, or I have waited, as some translations have it, my dearest son, Robert, delectissime, fili, Roberta, and those are all masculine, singular, and vocative. Enough and long and more than enough, I have waited, my dearest son, Robert, and he's not actually his son, it's a term of endearment, if by chance, or that by chance, Dei Pietas, the kindness, the devotion of God, might do two things. Et, et, might both, tuam per se, et meam per te, animam, your soul by itself, and my soul, meam animam, by or through you, it might dignaretur, or dignaretur, it might condescend to visit. So what he's saying is a pietas, the pietas or the devotion to God. I have waited to see whether your devotion to God or perhaps the kindness of God might dignaretur, might see fit to stoop down and have mercy on to in visere, to visit your soul on its own and my soul through you, per te. The text is punctuated here with a colon, and we really need to see the rest of it to make sense completely of the first part, but that exceeds the length of the episode.